just bathing the kids, bathing the kids, uh, six, four and two, you know. We're both trying to hold down good jobs, we're, we're tired, we're pr trying to be good parents, good employees and so on. And we were just bathing the kids and then in the middle of all, she looked at me and it's the way she uses my name, Alison, my wife, she just looked at me and said, David, and there was a pause. I already didn't like what was coming. And then she said, we need to talk. Oh, I hate that sentence. I hate that sentence. I hate it for two reasons. I know that whenever Alison uses it, she's spent three weeks thinking about what she's about to say. And I also know after 30 years of being married that she's gonna be right isn't she? And we put the kids to bed and then she takes my hand and she says to me, don't get too serious, I didn't marry a serious man, I made a man who married a man who made me laugh. It was the last thing I expected. Uh, and I remember thinking to myself, I'm working too hard. I'm taking the wrong things too seriously and the right things not seriously enough. You see, family life is hard. Pope Francis tells us in his document, The Joy of Love, be careful of idealization. You know the thing, we make things so perfect that they're unreachable. We're, we're even doing it to Christmas now. You know, you look at the adverts and they're, they're like banquets and you just think, who can live up to that? Well, the same thing happens to family life if we're not careful. We package it in such a way that the last place people want to come to is the church. And here's the irony, you know. I think to myself, all the idealization, what does it do? You know, happy ever after. You know, we have our romantic comedies, right? And they begin with a, a romantic encounter, a little bit of joy, then something goes wrong in the middle of the movie and there's a row. And then the film finishes with a chase to the airport and a proposal and everyone's happy and you, you leave satisfied. But actually we know life's not like that. Now here's the deal. Pope Francis says, I want a church that's bruised, hurting and dirty, not tidy. A church that accommodates, welcomes, offers mercy to the most vulnerable, the weakest, the perplexed. Now, the work that you're doing with these children is an opportunity for the families. And the opportunity must be one, Pope Francis says, of mercy. That everyone should feel loved, welcomed and forgiven. That's the first encounter, loved, welcomed and forgiven. Now some of the parents might not look interested. Some of them might wonder why they're there. Some of them haven't been to church for years. Some of them are not Catholic. Some of them are not together. But they're all to be welcomed, all to be loved and all to be forgiven. In these programmes that we run, there must be some engagement with the co community that says to these parents, do you know something? We welcome you, we love you, we care about you. A merciful church, a church that doesn't judge first. Pope Francis puts it like this. He says, families are not a problem, they're an opportunity. So in this last clip, I just want you to consider this. Be aware that your demeanour, your approach, no matter how unresponsive the parents are, is what's going to affect them. And they may not respond immediately in the way that you'd like them to. But trust in the spirit, trust in your conviction, you're good at this, you can do this, and we invite you to go out there 
and be missionary disciples. Thank you, thank you for being a catechist. You know what to do. Here comes the quote and the questions. Thank you.